Hey everyone, this is Anna Alexander, and I am coming at you with the Justice League. I know! So, this is going to be a long one. Buckle in for the ride. You might have been aware that I was coming with at this with great trepidation, and the that, that did not ease. When the first images you're given in the movie is Superman, the beautiful Henry Cavill, and his heavily digitized upper lip. Like, really? This is what you're gonna give me. It wasn't needed. Those scenes where they reshot with him removing his mustache, they weren't needed. And he knew where they were because it was so obvious. But I hung in there and I would like to say I came out pleasantly surprised. Um, there was a th plot, it was a thin plot, but there was one that I could follow along and I can buy into. The beginning reminded me a little too much of Suicide Squad where it's a bunch of scenes put together as they're laying down what's going on, but you're not quite sure how it made sense. Um, I think if they took the time to just re-scrap that and rewrite it all, it could have been a cleaner story, but they're not gonna do that. That costs money. So if you just hang in through the beginning, wait for the Amazons to arrive, thank God for the Amazons, that's when the story really picked up and it got going. So when I left the movie, there were three things enjoyed, which I'll get to in a second because I forgot to mention. Uh, there was comedy where there needed to be comedy. Thank you. The parts that had emotion could have been a little bit more drawn out, but at least there was moments where they paused to go, is this the right thing to do? Are we making the right choices? Did I want a little bit more? Yes, but at least they were there and I can appreciate that. So back to the three things that I came away with. Uh, one was those Amazons, highly aware of the costume controversy. Here's the dealio. In those skirts, no matter what version you like the best, those skirts are impossible to fight in. You just see road rash every time I look at those bare legs. So let's forget about the skirts because they're ridiculous to start with. The Amazons that they featured had the full torso plate. Cool. The only ones I saw with the bare midriffs, I was purposely looking for them, so I was hyper aware. So I don't. I think in the long run it didn't really matter because it was so quick, and that fight scene was so cool. One of my highlights of the film for me was the Amazon fight scene. So take with that what you will. Um, I didn't think it became that much of an issue the bare midriffs because the whole costume is ridiculous to start with. Uh, number two was there's three films now where they have fought planet destroyers. You've got Man of Steel, you've got Batman vs. Uh, Superman, and now you got Justice League now. We basically have these big badass villain world destroyers. Where are you going to go from there? These future movies, it's either going to be highly repetitive when you've got the fate of the planet in balance, or you've got Lex Luthor and so. you got these six people who are like, so, puny man. He's no con it's no contest, so I don't know where the conflict's gonna come from in the future. It will have to be to keep my attention more emotional, and the the relationship between them as a person and them as a superhero. And that's not what superhero movies are known for that emotional draw, aside from the Captain America line. So I don't know how they're gonna fix it, but for me, they're gonna have to fix it to keep it rolling. And I don't know where they're gonna go with it. Um, and then number three was. Diana Prince's wardrobe. It was perfection. I wanted every single thing she wore. Her color palettes were either white, black, or that deep cranberry color, and then the leather, the dark leather brown, and I wanted everything. I wanted her suede jacket she wore to meet Cyborg, lovely. I wanted her maroon sweater with the black strings. I wanted it all. So, if anything, her clothes are divine and that was my most favorite thing actually in the whole movie was her outfits so short huh? um don't be scared if you want to go check out justice league go check out justice league go check out a matinee and i think you'll come out having have a very enjoyable two hours so yeah that's all until next time y'all